Hello everyone and welcome back to another plan with me. I'm so excited to show you this setup because this month's theme is going to be cute little sea turtles. I can't wait to show you the colorful and cute spreads and without further ado, let's jump into it. For the cover page, I wanted to do a creative and original design with turtles inside bubbles. So I started off by hand lettering July with a black pentel sign pen and then creating the bubbles with four shades of blue Crayola super tips. I'm going to be using the same four for the entire setup. First, I'm setting up the top half of the page and then moving on to the bottom. Inside the bubbles, there are going to be turtles in three different positions, which include either swimming up, swimming to the side, or walking on land. I already have them sketched out just to save time, and I'm going in and outlining them with a 0.8 micron fineliner on the outer shell, head, and legs. Inside the shell is the varying hexagonal shapes for the turtles in the different positions. I used my 0.3 micron fineliner just to make it look thinner than the outline around them. With the same pen, I added three little bubbles coming from their heads. After, I'm using this tan or really light brown to color in the head and legs. My favorite part of making these turtles is coloring them in with the green. I alternated between Crayola Super Tips, Tombow Dual Brush Pens, and Stabilo Markers to color in these turtles. The lightest color is always on the hexagon parts, and then the darker green is in the background of that shell. My coloring of the light green is pretty messy as you can tell, but that's okay because the dark green will cover it up. These turtles are definitely meant to be fun to make, so don't worry if they're not perfect. I'll be doing the same process on the bottom of the page as well. For this month's quote page, it says, Be not afraid of going slowly, be afraid of only standing still. And I feel like it really ties to the global quarantine because lots of our goals for this year might be pushed back, but it's important to remember that no matter how slow that we go, we can always achieve our dreams and aspirations no matter the pace. So for the words not and only, I used my Pentel sign pen and the 0.8 micron fineliner for the normal words. The word slowly is written with a green Tombow dual brush pen and I think I should have made it a little bit smaller because the Y is almost touching the N. But oh well, I wanted to make an ombre for this and therefore did Fox Blending with Crayola colored pencils. So start with the darkest shade of green and color down with each pencil getting lighter. At the end, it creates the illusion that the markers were used to create this ombre. I outlined the word slowly with the 0.8 micron fineliner to finish the look. I repeated the same process for the word still, but with a blue ombre. At the bottom of the page, I got an idea for the doodle from the tortoise and the hare since the turtle got to the finish line first even though it was going at a slow pace. I think that that story is really inspiring so I took inspiration from that and drew the turtle walking on its way to the finish line. I really love how colorful this coat page turned out. So 
for this monthly spread, I wanted to try out an original layout, which includes waves and bubbles. I usually make the basic box outline, but I really wanted to do something out of the box that was related to the sea theme. So I alternated between the same shades of blue, starting from the darkest blue to the lightest blue, and then repeating that. And there are four dots between each line. Instead of dividing lines, I made them as dividing bubbles. I also included little turtles swimming around the calendar and they are in two different positions since some of them are swimming up and the others are swimming across the page. This is kind of mimicking a turtle migration and I repeated the same process as the cover page to draw these turtles. These turtles were inspired by Elena Journals on Instagram because she made the cutest turtle drawings. Definitely go check out her account. For the mood tracker, I was inspired to try something original and fun so I would be motivated to fill it in because I always forget to fill in my mood trackers. So for the header, I included two standing turtles around the word mood and below I'm going to include a quote. This is probably really unusual on a mood tracker but since I was left with a lot of space at the top when I drafted this, I included the quote, you can't cross the ocean without losing sight of the shore. So for the word ocean, I alternated between shades of blue starting with the lightest to the darkest and did the same thing for the word shore, except shore was in shades of green. And then I used my 0.8 micron fine liner to calligraphy the same word inside the bubble letters. Is calligraphy even a verb? I think it should be one.
For the actual mood tracker, I decided to make a sea turtle made out of bubbles, and each bubble is going to be a day of the month that I'll make a face in. Make sure if you're going to recreate this to make 30 bubbles. I definitely did not do that the first time I did this in my August plan with me. To make it look like it's floating at the bottom of the ocean, I made some sand and seaweed as extra details. I actually can't wait to fill this in. So for the habit tracker, I made the header with the waves, and I really love making these waves because they're so satisfying and fun to make. For the individual habit trackers, I made the boxes in different shades of green, and for the first time ever, I didn't actually use the ruler for the outline. I'm a perfectionist at heart, but honestly it was so liberating just to go with however the lines look. And of course, I had to include the little turtles at the bottom, and they're going to be colored in differently. So I outlined the body, head, and legs the same, but inside the shell I'm going to make a hexagon in the center and draw lines coming towards the edges of the shell from the corners of the hexagon. And then after the pen dries, I repeated the same thing except with the green colors. I tried out this different type of style on the turtle, so it's not the same one drawn in every single page. Moving on, I'm excited to show you this new spread that I've been loving. I love reading books and for that reason this page is my bookshelf. I feel like I get through so many books that I forget which ones I really liked and would like to go back and read someday. So I chose to include 5 books that I have on overdrive right now to read and inside the box under the title I have the author review start and end. For the review I'll probably just do the 5 stars method. I read really fast and five books is usually what I would re read in two weeks but for now these are the ones that I really want to track. My favorite types of books to read are fantasy romance novels so if you have any recommendations please leave them down below. Anyways, I really love how simple yet cute this page turned out and I can't wait to fill it out. Even if you're not a big reader, you can always switch this out for um, TV series or movies you want to watch. This is another spread that I wanted to try out this month. 
So since it's summer and we are in lockdown, it's easy for the days to pass by without being productive. And with this tracker, I wanted to keep myself accountable for it. So since these trackers are mainly done in a circle, I included turtle swimming around the tracker just to make it look cuter. I had to freehand the circle so it doesn't look perfect, but it's nothing that a white gel pen can't fix. So for each day, the lighter the shade of blue, the more productive the day went. I hope this spread helps me out this month to be more productive, and if you try it out, I hope it helps you be productive as well. For the first weekly spread, I made six main turtles with bubbles coming from each one for every day of the week except Saturday and Sunday, which I'm going to combine into one as the weekend. Inside the bubbles, that's where I'm going to be including my tasks. I think that the bubbles turned out a little bit smaller than I wanted them to be, but that's okay. So for each day of the week, each turtle is going to be in a different position. My favorite one is Wednesday, since the mom turtle has her little baby on her shell. I don't know if turtles actually do this, but I think it looks really cute. Oh, and the dates are written inside the bubbles. Overall, this is one of my favorite weekly spreads that I've done in my bullet journal so far. You guys are getting a bonus today because I just had to include the second weekly spread. When I was filming this, I actually started with this page and then moved on to the first weekly spread. So for this weekly spread, I wanted to vary the different turtle shapes with the page next to it, so I drew like a turtle migration floating out of the page on the left. To separate the days of the week, I made the waves again and the dates are written inside big bubbles. To separate the turtles with the spread, I outlined the box with the thickest fine liner that I had, which I think is the graphic fine liner. To finish, I just drew the turtle swimming up with bubbles on the top and bottom. I'll make separate videos for the rest of the weekly spreads and maybe I'll do a how to draw the different turtles.
on to the final flip through. I don't know about you guys, but this theme just makes me really happy with the bright colors and cute turtles. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another video with me. You can also find me on Instagram at Dainty Bullet Journal or my new account for lettering at Daniela's Dainty Designs. Thank you so much for watching.